I'm Liana Sharma, your host and the co-founder and the CEO of Kadosan. Thank you so much for joining us today. And thank you that you, you and you, you make it so special for us to work on it and everything is just so worth because of you. Thank you so much for watching the video. Kindly use the comment section if you feel like there are more improvements we can make and if there is any uh, developments that we can do, kindly let us know so that we can cater to the students as per their requirements. Thank you very much. Now you, will, you would have already seen the thumbnail it talks about why is medicine studied the wrong way. Now you must caution yourself, why am I saying this? So hey, welcome to Kadosan, where you can learn, you can use Kadosan to master your medicine. And here we want to talk about how students are using medicine or studying the medicine in the wrong way. And that is because they don't seem to understand or build a clinical instincts. And that's because most of the students, they study the medicine in the wrong way. They try to memorize the symptoms, they cram the definition, and they highlight on their textbook. But when a real patient enter the room, the reasoning collapses. And the reason is because clinical instincts isn't built through reading. It's built through decisions, consequences, and pattern recognition. And that's exactly what Kadosin was designed for. So if you learn to use Kadosin properly, you will start thinking like a clinician automatically. So today I'm going to show you how to use Kedosan the right way and extract every ounce of the value out of it. Starting with the right mindset. Many times people tend to think that Kadosan is a case bank, a cushion app or a flashcard. But if you open it with an expectation to get the right answer, you'll miss 90% of the benefit. Why? Because the mindset should rather be that I'm here to think I'm here to experiment and I'm here to watch the physiology respond to me. I hope you can see the screen as I'm explaining to you. Here, there is no right and there is no wrong because every decision that you make as you're using the website or the, or the app, you will end up learning something and this shift alone will double your learning speed. So how can you use each part of Kedosan to become a clinical machine? First, the vital box. If Kadosan had only one feature and you mastered that alone, you would still become dramatically better at medicine because the vital box is a simulation of real physiology meeting need. I'm gonna break it down for all of us. First is a detailed explanation on the vitals. The vital box, it shows us the heart rate, the blood pressure and the in arterial pressure. And then the blood pressure, okay, I already mentioned it the respiratory rate and the oxygen saturation and temperature. Here, each value has its own interpretation built in and you can see the low perfusion, the tachycardial, likely compensatory, the borderline oxygenation and reduced ventilation. These are not the cosmetic labels as some may argue. Why? Because when you check the vital before anything else, you can predict what should happen next. In this way, you can learn when tachycardia is good and when it is bad, when the RR rise is appropriate and uh, when the oxygen saturation drop and when you can predict the pathology according to that. And accordingly, you can watch the vitals change after every decision that is made. These vitals that changes in front of your eyes, it will create a clinical memory, not just theoretical memory alone. And now the patient's information, you can see this box underlined here. And uh, this patient information or the history of present illness, as you may say, this is how you can read it like a clinician. Most of the students, they generally tend to passively read it. But here at Kadosen, here it forces you to read it actively and also how to use every line that can give you a clue and the symptoms that pushes physiology in a direction and compare to what you're reading to the vitals and if the two don't match then what's the red flag that's worth exploring so this is what you can learn and train yourself like a pattern or a diagnostic rec recognizer and another one, a sacred weapon, where 99% of the people tend to underestimate it. Number one, there are two layers, physi pathophysiological insight or the molecular insight. After you use all of this, you can make decisions and you can read the insight and you can ask yourself, does it match to how I predicted the patient should behave like 
or if not you can have a correct or module immediately and this is the fastest way to develop clinical intuition and if you can think of this you are trying to self-correct your brain to upgrade in a way then comes the move box here you can make your own moves based on how you form your plan otherwise you can use the feature which is you can type your own response or you can also go to the hint button if you want more hint otherwise you can give up so that you can learn the ideal pathway so this is how you uh, do and then you can order an investigation so now when you go to the bell icon workflow it will give you an investigation and you would be able to see through this how or what investigation you have got purposefully and you can use the vitals to decide what test that you will need or you would need in the future as well and the results that arrive in the bell icon it can interpret them in the context and you can also see the reasoning loop and you can keep thinking while you're also waiting and this is how you learn to investigate like a doctor so this is a win-win for all the students who are who don't want to be a average actually so how do you master medicine with Kadosan? as i first told you in the beginning here you can choose a topic and you can repeat it until you can predict the changes and you can focus on watching the consequences rerun the cases to observe the different branches or practice predicting vitals before even clicking on it and you can do one to two cases per day for 30 days and then in this way you will see that your thinking has transformed so if you learn kedosan the right way you'll stop memorizing and you'll start thinking like a clinician and this is not a shortcut, it's not a hack, but this is how real clinical instincts is built. Decision by decision, consequence by co consequence. So welcome to Kadesan, where medicine is learned through experience and not theory. Thank you.